walking is is my thing. I, I believe walking is 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 the cornerstone of the solution to population level physical activity because most people who can walk, and that's the majority of people, actually don't mind walking. But you know, walking on its own is generally moderate intensity. As soon as you put it up an incline or hill or soft terrain or carry some weight, that suddenly increases the intensity. So if during the course of a normal walk, you see some stairs or you can take a route where for a short period it becomes more challenging, that's that's exactly what we mean. Vigorous intensity and, and, and it's intermittent because you can only do it for a short period. Whether that's lifestyle or not, yeah, I think it's lifestyle because you're you're just out for a walk. You're not you're not there to exercise per se. You're out for a walk and you're finding an opportunity in that walk to take some stairs or go up an incline or or do something a little bit um more demanding. Because it's that demand, and I think this is what we mustn't miss about the vigorous message. We, we've kind of forgotten the vigorous message. That stimulus for a lot of the health changes that we get, that stimulus is raising the heart rate, increasing the circulation, and that you do that more when you do vigorous activity than when you do moderate. So moderate's great. Some is good, more is better. But moderate with a interspersed with a bit of vigorous is probably your best mix.